Hey guys, it's Sanem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So as you can see, I'm going to be doing my November favourites by the title and also I'm so ready for December. Like the winter months, it's just begun, super cosy, all the vampy lips, I'm here for it. Who else is excited for December or just like snowy weather? the holidays, I just love it. So I'm gonna be talking about my November favorites, things that I've been loving for the month of November. Let me know what you guys have been loving as well, but without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So the first thing that I have been absolutely in love with since I discovered for the month of November is the Dior No Powder Powder. Uh, no Powder Powder. And this is in the shade Zero and Neutral. This is a beautiful, beautiful, face powder. It's one of the best face powders I have ever tried on my skin. Um, it honestly is worth every single penny and I honestly think it could be my new holy grail face powder or just makeup products in general. It does have a little bit of a sheen um, in this powder which means that it's not going to be a very matte looking powder. It's just going to give you the slightest little sheen again without any shimmer or like particles in there but I love it, I absolutely love it because it just smooths over my skin, makes my foundation look flawless, my skin look flawless with a little hint of coverage. It also just leaves you with that like radiant sheen on the skin. So it, you know, it's got a little bit of a light reflective, light diffusing look to the skin. So it's not gonna be so matte. And that's why I absolutely love it because it just wakens up your skin. If your skin always looks dull, tired, if it's dehydrated, Get a powder like this to set your foundation in place, but also it's just gonna wake up that skin and look super like just radiant and smooth. Definitely get your hands on it. Um, it's worth every single penny. Trust me, you won't look back. My next favorite is this palette right here. I have been playing around with this baby quite a bit. Um, and this is the Morphe Cherry Coke eyeshadow palette. I do have just a little bit in the crease right now. And this is what it looks like. Love the packaging as well. It's like a tin um, packaging. And this just has gorgeous, shades like berries neutrals um just light pink shades absolutely every sort of color that you would want within a pink like cherry toned palette because it's not super bold and super bright either you know you can make it wearable because it has all these wearable like beautiful shimmers and like coppery glitter shades and then you have like just those muted uh, mauves and berries and then you have like more bold a raspberry down here and then a chocolate brown. I absolutely love this palette. For just the days where I wanna go for like a really cute, just little neutral look, I'll use this side or I'll go in with this side if I wanna intensify it. Um, and I've been using this color a lot, which is the kind of like burgundy matte. Look how pigmented that is. Like I love to smoke that on my lash line. And then my favorite in the palette is this glitter, which is like a really nice rose glass gold pinky shade. If you are looking for a good eyeshadow palette, definitely check this one out. Again, it has a range of just light to deep shades um, and just really nice tones. Absolutely love that one. Um, I also have been in love with this primer, which is the e.l.f. Um, primer from, this is the, not e.l.f. as in the brand, but the e.l.f. movie did a collab with I Heart Revolution and this is their primer, which is a radiant glowy primer. It has a little bit of a gold sheen to it, very similar to Max Strobe Face. Um, face cream in gold light. Whereas this one is just a little more liquidy, a little more glowy. Um, absolutely love it. You can use it as a glowy moisturizer. Just has the tiniest gold pearls in there and sheen. Like it's not glittery. It just has like a gold glowy sheen. And it just makes your skin look so healthy and juicy looking. Like if you see the difference, this is super like glossy and juicy, whereas this side has nothing, it's just dry. So yeah, I absolutely love this primer because of how it makes my skin look. You guys have seen it in my videos anyway. Super moisturizing, super hydrating, like it's really, really, really hydrating. Um, and then it just gives you a little bit of a gold sheen, so that's gonna peek through the foundation, or you can mix it in with your foundation as well, and even use it and it's on its own, um, on the body as well, the collarbone. Like it is such a great primer. Um, I really do hope they come out with something like this permanently, but I absolutely, Absolutely love it. I think it's like eight pounds. Get your hands on it because it is honestly the most glowiest in a natural looking way primer. Like it's not overly glowy or gold looking. It's just the perfect amount of glow. One bronzer that I have been in love with and been using a lot actually is the Kylie bronzer 
in khaki, which is their lightest shade. So this is Kylie Cosmetics. She reformulated her brand recently, and this is their new reformulated bronzer. And I really like this bronzer. I didn't try the bronzer previously from her brand, but this new formula is everything. It's so silky and buttery, like silky matte and smooth. It's not chalky. It is so smooth. The shade is really perfect. It's not too warm toned, but not too cool toned either. Like there isn't a lot of gray or orange in there. It's just the perfect bronzer contour shade for fair skin tones. And I really like it. I feel like when I put this on, my bronzer just looks super smooth. I'm not wearing it right now, but it just goes on really smoothly and just looks soft on the cheeks. Absolutely love the formula of it and the shade. So again, um, the Kylie bronzer, but I do want to try out their blushes as well. So yeah. Now, speaking of bronzer, I have another one that I've been absolutely loving. This is the Iconic London Sheer Liquid Bronzer. This bronzer right here is something else. I have always been looking for a liquid bronzer because you always find creams, um, but you don't really find liquid bronzers often. And this is honestly to die for. I will say, bear in mind, because the name is accurate, it is a very sheer bronzer. So, you know, if you're looking to get a lot of coverage and pigment out of it, you're not really going to get much. It's just one of those sheer liquid bronzers where, you know, it, the brush takes away that product so you're not left with too much pigment. It's supposed to be just a sheer wash of bronze on the cheeks. I have mine in the shade Suntan, which is a beautiful, cool toned, bronzy shade, but not too cool toned. Um, and I'm just gonna demonstrate what this looks like. So you can, oh, I put too much. So you can see, like, look at that. It almost blends into nothing. Like it barely gives you pigment. So just bear that in mind, but that's why I love it because it just bronzes up my skin in the most natural way. So if you are very fair, or fair like me, this is one of those perfect bronzer products and liquid bronzers that you want because a lot tend to make us look very orange and warm or they're too pigmented. Um, so this is just one of those products because it's so sheer, it's gonna give you the most light wash of bronze. I almost wanna try this one day uh, mixed in with my foundation to, you know, darken up my foundation and give me a very natural like tan look. And as you guys can see, you know, it leaves you with the slightest bit of bronze, which I absolutely love. And on the cheeks, it looks amazing because it just gives you this wash of bronze and you can still see it. It's not like you can't see anything. You can actually still see this beautiful bronze right here. So natural looking, love the formula, highly recommend it. They have other shades as well in this, um, in this product. Let's move on into some lip products that I've been loving. This is the Nabla Soft Touch Lipstick. I use this a lot and I don't know if I've mentioned it in a favorites before, but I love this lipstick. So the Nabla Soft Touch Lipstick in the shade Chloe, which is a beautiful like neutral pinky brown. I don't know if I would call it brown, but it looks brown. And it's just, yeah, pinky neutral, like soft, comfortable matte lipstick. It is so, comfortable and it almost has like this soft blurring effect to it, like a powdery formula, um, really creamy and it just makes your lips look so full. I absolutely love the shade of this one. So I do want to get other colors, but Chloe is the most beautiful, like neutral shade. If you're looking for just a great matte lipstick that you can wear every single day, definitely don't sleep on these because I feel like no one really talks about this, this like these lipsticks. Um, I know Nabla's is still a popular brand, but still, I think it's underrated. So I love that one. And then another one that I've been loving, I don't know if you guys have noticed a little bit of a theme recently here on my channel, but I've been really into like cool toned lips. And this one I have been loving, which is the Bite Beauty uh, Matte Cream Lip Crayon in the shade Glace, which is like a beautiful mauve cool pink. And this is a lip crayon. So, you know, it's basically like a lipstick, but you can use it as your lip liner as well. I just put this all over. Um, sometimes I leave it or sometimes I put a gloss and I've just been really into the like cool pink mauve tones lately. I think it's because of this time of the year. Um, and I really love, love it. Just again, like winter pink mauve lip shade. Again, super creamy. If I just buff this out, you can see how beautiful it looks. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful on the lips and creamy. 
This is um, the second thing I own from Bite Beauty and I really, really, really love the formula of this. And it stays put, oh my God, this stays put all day. Like I wore this out and I don't think I, yeah, I don't, I don't think I ever touched up. Like I would eat and it would still be there. Whereas other lipsticks like just slides off. Um, this is really long lasting. So wanted to shout that one out as well for the shade and for the formula. If you guys haven't tried anything from Bite Beauty, definitely give it a go. Next, I've also been loving this highlighter palette right here. Again, don't know if I've showed this in a favorites. I always, I can't keep track of what I've showed um, cause I do use these products all the time. This highlighter palette is honestly, so pretty. It's from MAC. It's from their new Hypnotizing Holiday Collection, which I'm sure you guys have seen me review. Um, I mainly use it for these two highlighter shades right here. I love this. Like I said, I've been really into this like kind of cool tone look lately. Um, and I really love this highlighter, which does have a little bit of a lilac tint, but you can barely see it on the skin. If I just apply it right here, you guys can see it just gives me like this beautiful glow without it being like this lilac-y, icy tone, too frosty kind of shade. It's just a very melt in the skin, subtle glow. And that's why I absolutely love this palette, especially this shade anyway, because it, you know, it's not super blinding. It's not super like lilac-y and frosty. Um, it's so, so, so glowy and just smooth looking on the skin. This one is a really nice shade. You guys know I love my gold highlights. This is a nice icy gold as well. Um, and then this one I don't really use because it's too dark for me, but these two I've been loving. So when I'm doing, you know, like a warm tone look or gold look, I'll go with this palette. I mean, with this shade. And then this one for my cool tone looks, which just matches with the vibe today. So yeah, I wanted to shout this one out. Um, it's such cute packaging. If you guys have not purchased anything from the Hypnotizing Holiday Collection, um, check out my video. I do a full in-depth review of the collection. Um, and it's great for a gift, stocking stuffer. It's just a really creamy formula. Super silky, buttery, not powdery, like highlights very silky smooth. And last but not least is a moisturizer. And I know this isn't makeup, but I wanted to give this one a shout out because I've been loving it. This is the Lumine, Lumine? Nordic Hydra Intense Hydration 24 Hour Moisturizer. So this brand I believe is from, yeah, it's from Finland, I believe, which um, I think a lot of the products are, you know, water-based or something like that. Something with the water. With the water. This is such a hydrating moisturizer. I use it as my moisturizer, but I also use it before my foundation because there's something about this that just leaves my skin baby, baby soft, silky. I don't know. It just, it goes over all the texture, the dry skin. Really? It goes over all the texture, the dry skin, any rough areas that you have, it completely smooths it out and it just feels like a baby's bottom. Honestly, it is so baby soft. Um, and it, that's why I love it for underneath foundation because then my makeup just sits beautifully for the rest of the day. There's no dryness, no cakiness, no like, I'm gonna have to wrap up this video, but really? But yeah, I love it for underneath foundation. I'm really sorry about that. I love it for underneath foundation. Oh my God. I love it for underneath foundation. Um, again, just leaves me with a really smooth uh, base to work with. And I feel like my makeup sits a lot better and lasts throughout the day as well because it has a great base to work with. And again, skincare is always key before applying your makeup. So you definitely wanna take care of your uh, skincare and prep it before you apply your foundation and the rest of your makeup. And this is just one of those products which I think does wonders. And I use moisturizer all the time as well before my foundation, but nothing has really made my skin look so smooth and flawless and feel flawless like this moisturizer does right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed my November favorites. Let me know what you've been loving for the month of November um, or just in general as well. Leave me all your current favorites down below. So I'm gonna let you guys go now and until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.